What's up, guys? Luna Wolf MXS here. Uh, I know I don't get involved in politics a whole lot, which I don't know if this is politics. I guess it is because Trump's gotten involved with this girl. But uh, Hoda Muthana or whatever wants to return to the U.S. The crazy thing about this, she's from Hoover, Alabama, which Hoover, Alabama is about 15 minutes away from where I'm at right now. The city I live in and, and the city of Hoover butt up to each other. Uh uh, they play each other in high school sports, all you know, all that. Uh, so it's crazy that she's from right down the street. I'm not 100%. I don't know a lot about this girl. I just know I saw the interview, and I wanted to give my opinion on uh, what I thought about what she said in the interview. And just not knowing anything about her, uh, my opinion on if she should be let back in the country or not. But, um... So she's from Hoover, Alabama. I don't know if she was born here, but I do know she's from Hoover, Alabama. And um, I felt bad when I first saw her. I was like, man, this because I'm, I'm a pretty compassionate person. Even though I can be, sometimes I can be mean, I guess. Uh, and I really regret those times that I'm mean to people. Uh, so, but I, I can be a pretty compassionate person. And I was like, man, she, she got duped by these, ISIS idiots, I mean, you can't really say, you could come up with the worst word you could ever think for a human being, and it, it, it still wouldn't do ISIS justice uh, the way they do people, and they are, I swear on my life, they're all pedophiles, every single man in ISIS is a pedophile, because that's what they do, I, I read some books while I was in Afghanistan, because ISIS was in Afghanistan, or they currently are, or were, or whatever, but they were there when I was there, and I, so I read some books, and kind of looked into some stuff, some documentaries on them, and nobody can defend uh, ISIS, and there's people out there that defend, uh, not Al-Qaeda, but the Taliban, because the Taliban was kind of a grassroots movement, that kind of got taken over by some crazy people, even though they were kind of crazy. It's really, all the books I read and all the research I did, it's very hard to, it's almost like the Middle East is one big gray area. It's very hard to know who's the enemy, uh, who we created, like as in the CIA and who the British created, as in their, you know, their war and their time there and the Middle East is one big gray area, and it's hard to tell who's a good guy and who's a bad guy. It really comes down to who's on your side at the time, but um, I can't remember what point I was getting. But anyways, ISIS love young women. I'm talking about like 13 years old and younger. They love them. That's what they want. That's who they want to marry. And once I watched this thing about the, uh, the, the girls that they were done with, it was... Uh, they were being like accepted into uh, more, you know, uh, better nations, parts of Iraq, stuff like that. And they were putting these kids into school who were uh, these girls who were still girls, had children, got pregnant, 13, 14 years old, and sometimes younger. Uh, and it was sick that they would, like this one girl got her, uh, it was either arm or leg blown off. And uh, she was okay. Like, I mean, she, you know, she didn't have her arm or leg or whatever it was. I can't remember what it was, but she was okay. She lived, and her husband, her ISIS husband, didn't want her anymore because she was deformed. This girl was like 14 years old, and he had married her when she was like uh, 11 or something like that. That's sick. So, that being said, when I saw this girl, Hoda Mathana or whatever, um, I'm going to say or whatever a lot because I can't pronounce a lot of these names. I can't pronounce my own name half the time. But she wants back in the country. And I saw her with her kid and I was like, she got duped at a young age into joining these ISIS crazy idiots. She went over there, had a kid with one of them. Uh, evidently, he's dead now or gone. Who knows? Uh, so she wants back and I was like, let her back. Uh, maybe put her through some kind of like, I don't know. She's going to have to be imprisoned for a little while until we can figure out her intentions, you know, towards the United States. And then she's probably going to have to be, I would put her on house arrest, honestly. But uh, I wanted her back into the country and I felt bad, especially for the kid who was born in this. Because I always feel bad. I know it's a, the enemy will use this against you a lot, but you will feel bad for the kid and, um. And I did. I was like, man, she's got a kid. She was brainwashed. And then 
I'm going to start this video, but it, it goes into how uh, I'm going to try to fast forward. Let's see if I can fast forward it real quick. After promise. All right, let me get to her interview. Uh, where's it at? Come on. Get to Hold the interview. That hold of my thumb. Okay, I'm going to try and start it. Uh, where's it at? Why is it not? This thing's messing up. Faces family members like U.S. Uh, go back. But questions okay, here we remain go. about the fate of thousands the of hoodie. ISIS family members like U.S. born Hoda So Lafana, I felt bad. Look. Who left Alabama but listen to, to what she says. Now living in a camp with her one year old son. I showed her Secretary I felt of State bad for her reaction until to her this. To return. She is a terrorist. She's not, not a U.S. Not citizen. This. She ought not return to this country. But what I'm she a said. Citizen and there's papers to prove it. I'm just as American as any blonde hair, blue eyed girl, and I would like to stay in my country and do American things, you know. A lot of people are going to. Any blonde hair, blue eyed girl, she immediately pulls out racist. The tweets that you put out. I know, I know that, but it was an ideology that really. Watch her facial expression face. change. There's one tweet in particular where you talk about calling on Americans to do drive-by shootings, to rent a truck and drive over people, spilling their blood, and you say, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, go out and do it. Again, my lawyer told me not to speak about these things. And Muthana is just one of that. What? Did she say my mother or lawyer? Because I watched this other interview with her where she says her, her lawyer's trying to uh, help her out. I wish I could be her lawyer or her PR agent because when I said I'd be like, okay, you need to look sad. She's smiling in the interview. It's like a joke to her based on her facial expressions. Uh, she just looks like it's all a joke to her. And the first thing I would tell her, I was like, don't bring up anything you hate about America. Bring up only the things you love about America. And uh, look depressed and sad and have your kids sit there with you depressed and sad. And then we'll have a better chance of getting you back in America. But no, no. She's sitting there laughing and smiling and says, if I was blonde hair or I'm, I'm just as American as any blonde hair, blue eyed person. That's insinuating that America is all blonde hair and blue eyed. So you're already right off the bat trying to play racism. You're trying to bring racism into it. That's the first. I'd be like, do not tell them anything you hate about America because of your stupid tweets. And he brings up the tweets and she's like, you can see the regret when she closes her eyes and kind of, I don't know if it's a laugh or just a nervous snort or what, but then she's just smiling. It's like, after I saw that, when I first watched that interview, I'm like hyped up right now. When I first watched that interview, I was like, man, this woman, we need to bring her back. She's American. She got, um, they brainwashed her like ISIS and, uh, terrorist organizations do. The KKK, white supremacists, they would brainwash young women. They would do the same thing. They're, these are sick individuals. I don't see why we can't connect ISIS with the KKK and white supremacists. They do the same thing. They, they, in, in, what is it, indoctrinate the youth or whatever? They brainwash people. And I was, I was feeling bad for her. I was like, man, she's got a kid. She's American. She got brainwashed. Bring her back. And then she has to say some stupid stuff like that. And I'm like, stay in, stay where you're at. You obviously, she has obviously not learned her lesson. She's sitting there laughing and smiling. It looks like you're having a great time over there. So why don't you stay over there? I mean, this is coming from a guy. From me, who serves in the military, has friends in the military. I haven't, uh, I haven't seen crazy things, but like, um, you know, I have, I have friends that have seen some crazy things and all that stuff. And and to have this girl hanging out with these terrorists, who if they given the chance, they'd kill any American, uh, anybody from uh, Great Britain. Anywhere, if they had their chance, they they would they would uh, kill them or whatever, or worse. Um, but it's just it's insane to me that this girl she thinks that she's gonna get back into America by saying some racist stuff like that, you know, saying some racist stuff like that, and then when he brings up the tweets about her saying you should kill anybody. Uh, kill as many people as you can in America. Uh, get rent a truck and drive through a crowd. She says, I shouldn't talk about this. You should say, 
I would be like, if they bring up the tweets, say how regretful you are. Start crying and talk about how they brainwashed you. Now, there's one small thing. With, I don't think this is the case with her. The way she's laughing and smiling and all that stuff. There's one small thing. She could be in fear of retaliation from ISIS once they see that interview if she was like, if she denied all that and said that she was brainwashed and all that stuff. There could be some retaliation, but obviously she's in some kind of POW camp or not prisoner of war, but I, I guess it's a prisoner of war. She's in some kind of camp. She's obviously protected somehow. So I would tell her, I would be like, don't bring up anything you hate about America, which is the first thing she did. And then I would be like, when they ask you about the tweets, start crying and say how regretful you are. Hug your child. Uh, I don't know if it was a, a girl or a boy. I really see it that much. But hug your child and cry. And we're going to get you back in the States. But no. She has to talk about uh, how America's racist, basically. And then uh, when asked about the tweets, she just kind of does a little, <laughs> you know, like a little pfft or whatever. And then just says, I'm not supposed to talk about that. <laughs> it's like, stay in your country. You obviously have not learned your lesson. Anyway, that's my rant for the day. I figure I'd rant on it. I might do more uh, rant videos, but uh, sometimes I just feel like I need to just rant. And I'm trying. I'm the way my parents raised me. They didn't. They they didn't raise me with hate. You know what I'm saying? That it was always about treat people by their character, not by their race, not by their uh, how much money they make or any of that. Treat them by their character. And judging her on her character. She obviously has not learned her lesson and, and really doesn't care. And I don't know if it's um, uh, na na naivete. Is that how you say that? I don't it, I don't know if it's her being naive, young, and all that stuff. But um, she obviously has not learned her lesson if she's smiling and laughing. And, and when he brings up tweets about her wanting uh, American citizens to die, she just kind of goes back to smirking again. It's like, come on, man. Like, you're not going to get in the country like that. I'm so, I'm mad at her. Like, I'm just so... her And her lawyer, too. Could you not talk to her and tell her? I mean, I'm not saying I want her to get in the country under a lie, which it would be seeing now. It, if I was her lawyer telling her, hey, lie, it, she would be coming back into the country under a lie. I'm just saying if she was truly regretful and truly wanted to be back in this country, she would not act like that. Crazy. She... she and I'm, I'm saying this just based on this one interview, so maybe I'm misinformed or whatever, but I don't think she needs to come back in the country. If she does, they need to put her in prison for a while. May I, I don't know. It's I'm just sad for the kid. The kids... I mean, all the war books I've read, the, the things that hurt me the most are... Uh, which I don't read nonfiction, which... Uh, yeah, I don't read nonfiction, but um, I read like historical war books about Afghanistan. I'm really interested in the Middle East, stuff like that. And the kids, man, it's just like the kids being mauled and raped and stuff. And nobody cares. You don't really see the news talk about that that much, you know. And it's happening, especially like uh, south of the border. It happens in America, too. It happens in Canada. It happens all over the world. Kids... Evil, evil people do bad things to kids, and uh, I'm not trying to bring y'all down by, with my rant, but uh, it's just, it seems like the media just doesn't care. I guess because it doesn't sell uh, kids being raped and murdered and, and mauled, you know? I guess that just doesn't sell to the American public because we don't hear it that much. I have to go on YouTube and look up uh, small time news channels, document documentaries and stuff, like the one I saw about Syria. That wasn't on main. The uh, Syrian wives, the the like you know, eleven to thirteen year old wives they had that they just discarded because they were uh, they got uh, maimed by uh, like battle. So the the ISIS fighters would be like, I'm done with her. She's no longer attractive. And at first, you're attracted to a child. Something's wrong with you. Like uh, it's just crazy. I don't know. Whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna stop ranting. Uh, whatever. Uh, so. <laughs> I'm going to have a fun time editing that because I could not get it to go back to the beginning of her talking about how, uh, I mean, she pretty much hates America. America's racist and uh, she hates America, but whatever. Anyways, appreciate y'all watching. Check me out. Actually, before I do my little spill, um, comment, I don't know, comment in the comments. Comment down below uh, and let me know what you think. Maybe you think she still, still should come back to America and nothing she did was wrong, which... 
would be weird because she's laughing about the whole thing. But anyways, appreciate y'all watching. Check me out. SoundCloud, Instagram, Twitter, like always. Check me out the street.